Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is Mr. Baumgarten with another BBC Microbit Python tutorial for you. Today we are going to use the Bluetooth radio that is built into the Microbit and we're going to use it to send expressions of love or displeasure with someone else. So you need to partner up with someone else because you're going to need two Microbits for this exercise and we are going to be sending signals via Bluetooth from one microbit to the other. So when I am feeling the love towards this person, I'm going to press button A and they are going to get the little heart symbol appearing on their screen. If I'm feeling upset with them, I'm going to press button B and they're going to get the upset symbol appearing on theirs. Likewise, if they are happy with me, then they can press the A and I will get the heart up here on mine. And if they're upset with me, they can press B and I'll get the upset up here on mine. Uh, and so we can obviously adapt this to be sending all sorts of messages to each other. We could uh, use it to send Morse code or something. Uh, we can, and there's no reason you can't make a button press on one micro bit, uh, make the other one beep. Or, or talk at you as well. Uh, you can also make one microbit control multiples. It doesn't just have to be one microbit talking to another. Uh, you could have as many microbits, in theory, as many microbits as you want can be listening on the same frequency. So you could have this, these button presses. And if I had other microbits here, I could have um, love hearts appearing on all the other micro bits if I wanted or doing whatever I want uh, based upon the code. So how do we build this? Let's get this up and running. Let's take a look at our code and get underway. So as always we begin with from micro bit import star. We also need to import in the Bluetooth radio functionality and so we will import the radio library into our code. And we want to configure our radio so that we can have multiple groups working in the class together without interfering with each other. We specify what channel we want to listen on. And so we will say radio.config and you see there's a variety of uh, settings that we can use. Uh, and so most of the defaults are fine for what we're doing right now. But the one that we will change is channel. So we will say channel is equal to, and this is where you and your partner need to agree on a number, but it also needs to be a number that no one else in the room is using. Otherwise, you will be listening in on each other and you'll be talk, uh, transmitting over the top of each other. And so it could cause some problems. Uh, so for today, I'm just gonna say, let my channel be number 10. But like I said, you and your partner need to agree on a channel number. And so once I have decided I'm gonna use channel 10, I'm gonna tell the radio to turn on. And that's just the on command, remember the parentheses, and I'm gonna run my program forever. So while true, let's clear whatever is on the display. And uh, let's send some signals, shall we? So if button A was pressed, uh, helps if I can spell it correctly. Uh, what do I want to do? I want to send a heart symbol. So radio dot send, and it's as easy as this, all right, send and send a message string. So you just need to agree with your partner what the messages are going to be and what they represent and what actions the micro bits are going to do as a result of the messages. So I heart, let's say that if I press button A, I want the heart a message to be sent. And if I press button B, uh, button B was pressed. Radio dot send. I'm feeling upset at you, so I'm just going to say that I'm upset, right? And it is as easy as that to send messages. If I was to run this program now, uh, let's flash this to say and flash it. I will be able to send messages, but I won't be able to receive them because I haven't put the receive code in mine. So once the update has finished, all right, it's up and running, I can send, it's still updating, there we go. All right, I can send a heart 
and I can send that upset face, but I won't be receiving anything because I haven't programmed it into this yet. So let's do that, shall we? Let's, uh, it's as simple as, uh, come up with a variable name. So I might just call it for incoming message. I'll just call it incoming. And I just want to receive whatever is on the radio. So receive brackets. All right. And actually, if we read this, all right, receive the next incoming message from the message queue as a string returns none if there are no messages waiting for us. All right. So if I've received a message, it's going to be inside here. So if my message, now, if, whenever I'm wanting to compare the contents, uh, we've used greater thans and less thans, but we haven't said, what if something is an exact match? Uh, and so I'm going to use the double equal signs for this. Uh, and so if I have received the heart message, then I'm going to want to display a heart. Uh, all right, so this is an important little gotcha to be aware of, all right? A double equal sign is when I am wanting to compare values to see if, they, if this is a match that is true or false. So is this the same as this, all right? The double equal sign asks the question. The single equal sign is used to assign or set a value, all right? Take incoming and set it to whatever is here. All right, so remember, the right goes into the left. That is a single equal sign. All right, that, is, that performs an action, taking whatever's on the right, put it in the left. The double equal sign is used to ask the question, is incoming the same as what's on the right-hand side here? And if it is, then I'm going to run this. Right? So display.show uh, the heart, and we might pause for a couple of seconds, uh, else if incoming, else if incoming, now let incoming is equal to upset, All right, then display dot show image dot sad, and maybe we sleep for a couple of seconds. Uh, and that will now allow me to receive messages. But as you can see, this one over here has got this nice little pulse going on just to let you know that it's up and running and it's waiting. So maybe we should put in a pulse as well, shall we? So if we've received a heart, show the heart. If we've received upset, show the set picture. Else, if we haven't received either of those, then we're just making the center pixel turn on for a little bit and then turn off for a little bit. So that is just display dot set pixel and the center pixel you remember is 2 2 and we're turning it on to 9 for brightness and we might sleep for maybe a tenth of a second and then display dot set pixel will turn it off 2 2 let's set it to 0 go to sleep for another tenth of a second and I think that is really well all that we want to do isn't it if I save that and flash that, we will get the update code to, to happen. And we'll get the blinking LED when we're not receiving any messages. And you can see here that this is blinking at a different pulse rate to this one, because I think when I programmed this, I used sleep for 200 on my center flashes, whereas I've got 100 on my uh, flashing happening here. But if I prick press that, I get my heart symbol. If I press this, I get the sad appear on the other one. And likewise on this, if I press that, I'll get the heart appear here and I get the upset appear. So there you go. Quite simple to get the Bluetooth up and running between multiple devices. Have fun playing around with that. See what other messages and what else you can get it to do um, with, between you and your partner. There's no reason you can't set up cool projects where the accelerometer from one is affecting the other uh, and the compass um, and you can use the, the front panels as well um, whatever your imagination can come up with so and like I said you can also easily get multiple um, micro bits talking to each other it doesn't just have to be one talking to another one so enjoy playing around with the radio and this is Mr. Baumgarten signing off <laughs>